it's Kayla. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by and please stick around. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I love hearing from everybody in the comment section. So today I have a stitch fix and it's been a little over a month, which is long for me since I've gotten my last stitch fix. I usually get them a little bit more frequently, um, probably about every three weeks, but I kind of had to wait a little bit because my last couple of boxes have been five for fives. So I spent a couple, I spent more money than I usually do. Sorry, this is Lexi. She is our puppy and she is, she has a lot of energy. So you might see her jumping around in the video. So I apologize if she makes some noise, but there she is. Um, she's like a little over six months old. But anyway, Stitch Fix is a subscription, uh, a styling service where you go online, you fill out a style profile, and then based on your style profile, a stylist curates a box of five items for you, and then they ship it to you. Postage is free both ways. I haven't had to send anything back the last couple of months. Who knows what it'll be like today. I did ask for a holiday box. So I did peek, and I kind of looked what's in here so far. I didn't take it out in person, so I don't know how it looks in person. So it doesn't really look too holiday-ish to me, but you never know, I still might like the items for our everyday looks. Um, anyway, let's get into what I got, and then I'll try things on, and I'll need your help making some decisions. And again, I apologize if the dog jumps around a little bit. She has a lot of energy, she's just a puppy. So the first thing is this scarf and it's a Lula collection by Bindia scarf. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it's the Abigail leopard oblong scarf and it's brown. So I do love leopard print. So I think this, it's so soft. I wish you could feel how soft this is. So here's the print. The leopard print's really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, Probably grab a black shirt to try that on with unless there's something else in here. Next I have, I'm just going to put this down because it'll be a little bit easier. So hang on one second. Okay. This is the oops, RD style. I keep dropping the, the right tag. Aru Lace Up Back Cotton Blend Pullover in Olive. So here's a sweater. From the front and then this is the back with the crisscross so it's a little bit shorter than I like my sweaters but you never know until you try it on right it could surprise me I could really like it I have next a pair of pants I wasn't sure about these when I saw them um, I do like colored pants and I do like red for the holidays but I'll show you why I wasn't sure in a second so these are the Cali cuff skinny pant by cosmic blue love and they're red so they're, I don't know if you can tell, it's more of like a washed red. Can you see? Not really like a bright, bright red. I mean, it might be coming across like that. And then the bottoms are cuffed. So it's a little bit more of a casual look. And for my red pants, I usually like to wear them on Christmas or on holidays to holiday parties. So I like them to be a little bit dressier. Um, and that's why I was unsure, but I might fall in love with these once I put them on. So next I have, I think my sister actually, this looks familiar. I think my sister got this in her stitch fix. Oh, wrong tag. So this is the Leo and Nicole Zarin Cotton Blend Poncho Pullover in Gray. So it's kind of like, a, what do you call that, marbled? Is that what you call it? Marbled kind of gray look? So it's pretty. I don't know if the cowl neck will be something that I'll like because I don't like things too close to my neck, but I have bought I have bought a few cowl necks from Stitch Fix that have really worked out for me and I like them. And then it looks like the bottom, which I can show you more on the try on, but it has more of a rounded hemline. So I don't really own anything like that. So that might be fun to try. And then lastly, I have by Madison and Lily, it's the Bell Bowneck Pullover in light gray. I'm not gonna like this, and I'll tell you why. I'll show you why in one second. So the front's pretty, but the back, it's got these bows which are cute, but it's cut out. So you'd have to wear something underneath, and I don't really like layering that much. Um, I don't know, it's so soft, so you never know, I might like it. So I'm gonna go try everything on. I'll be right back, and we'll see how we like everything. 
All right, I'm back and I have two items on. I have on the scarf. This is the Lula Abigail Leopard Oblong Scarf. It's $28, so soft, a little bit pricey than what I'd um, normally pay for a scarf, but I like it. And I have some birthday gift cards from Stitch Fix left over, so I may use that on this. And the RD Style Aru Lace-Up Back Cotton Blend Pullover and Olive for $64 which I put on underneath and I didn't think I was gonna like this one, but I might have changed my mind. So first, I'll let you look at the scarf for a second. Really cute, love the leopard. It's definitely a Kayla style, so I probably will keep this one. You can wear it a bunch of different ways with a bunch of different items. And then underneath is the RD style sweater. So you know I like a V-neck, it's a little bit low, so I might wear a cami underneath. Um, but the length isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to come up a little bit shorter, so I was pleasantly surprised that it's a little bit longer. I guess I shouldn't because I am short. Um, and I'll turn around. I haven't seen it from the back yet, so I'm going to have to look, but it's got the crisscross. I did put a cami on underneath because I'm getting ready to try on that, um, for when I try on the open back sweater with the bows. So I just put, threw one on for now, but I think it's pretty cute. What do you think? Um, I don't know for $64 because I'm not crazy about it. It just wasn't it, you know, I was impressed that I actually kind of liked it. But I'm curious to hear what you think down below. And olive's been my color this year. I really love olive. So I don't know. Do I need more? Maybe. All right, let's see what I think about the next item. Hang on one second. All right, I'm back. And this is the poncho by Leo and Nicole. The Zarin Cotton Blend Poncho Pullover in Gray for $68. A little bit pricey for a poncho. I do like ponchos. It's got the cowl neck. The gray is really pretty. It's a darker gray, and I don't. I own a lot of gray, but I don't own this shade of gray, which is really pretty in my opinion. And I'll back up so you can see the length is pretty good. Um, a little bit more so you can see it's got more of that rounded hemline, which is kind of nice. Um, what do you think? Is it? Is there too much material here for me? It's it's very flowy. So you definitely need to wear something underneath because it's got slits on both sides. Um, so I have that black cami on, but I don't know. I kind of like it, but there's something about it and I don't know what it is that's throwing me off. The sleeves kind of, maybe it's the bat wing sleeves. I don't know. I do like the color of it and it's really comfortable. So let me know what you think. I'm going to go put on the cardigan with the bow and the red pants. My stylist said to pair them together. I normally wouldn't have, but I'm going to try it since you said to do it and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with my last two items and I have on the Madison Lily Bell Bow Back Pullover in light gray for $44 and I have on the red pants. These are the Cosmic Blue Love. Cali Cup Skinny Pant and Red for $88. So I've got to really love these to pay $88 for them. And I don't know that I really, really love them. I do want a pair of red pants though. So um, this is going to make me be on the hunt for them. But anyway, here's the, the sweater. It's okay from the front. So again, the length isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I paired them with the red pants because that's what her note said. But I don't think I'd wear the gray with the red. It's just not something that I personally like for myself. Um, other people I see pull it off and I'm like, I wish I could pull it off, but I don't think I can. Anyway, um, it's really soft and the sleeve length is a little bit long as you can tell. Um, and I'll turn around. This is the one that's got the bows in the back and I put a black cami on, so it probably doesn't look that great, but the, I'm, the cutout back is something that I probably wouldn't wear. So this one I think is going to go back and then I'm going to just turn the camera down a little bit so you can see, hopefully um the red pants so these are the i think they were the cuffed pants um which i do like i just don't know if i'm in love with them and if i'm spending 88 dollars for a pair of pants i really want to love them so i like the color but again if i'm gonna buy a pair of red pants i think i want them to be a little bit more uh dressy so that i can wear them to work that i can wear them to functions parties things like that I don't know, but you let me know what you think. Give me one second and we'll come back and we'll do a quick recap. All right, I'm back for my recap. So if I bought everything in my box, it would be $292 um, with a 25% off discount because if you buy all five, you get 25% off. It takes $73 off, bringing it down to $219.
I don't think this is a five for five. I was kind of hoping those red pants would work out because I have a um, function for work tomorrow and I wanted to wear some fun red pants, but those aren't really dressy enough. But you know, she tried so, and I didn't have to go shopping in this crazy at this crazy time of year, right? So that really helps. But anyway, so, so far, I'm not sure what I'm keeping. I think I'm gonna keep the leopard scarf, although it's a little bit pricey for a scarf. Um, I don't know, maybe the poncho, but I don't know if I'll keep anything else. I did like the olive sweater, but I don't know that I'd pull for it. And I wanna make sure that I'm only keeping things that I absolutely love and will pull for. So I really would love to know what you think. Please let me know below. So I'll be curious to hear what everyone else thinks too. So anyway, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will be coming back at you soon. I have a Natalie Attired here that just came in. And I also have a trunk club, my first trunk club. And I'm so excited to share that with you. I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. I kind of peeked inside my Natalie Attired box. I know you can't really peek online. So I just kind of opened it and looked to see what I got. And there might be some promising pieces in there. So anyway, I'll be back at you really soon with those. And I hope that you come back to see what I got. And I'm excited to share them with you. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are, and I will see you soon.